Good morning. It's Wednesday, April 5th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Age of Offense, Part 5, and our scripture is Proverbs, Chapter 22, where Solomon writes, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. We're finishing our series today on parenting to change a culture falling apart. We've shared about the need for parental stepping up when it comes to involvement because of the violent nature of today's world, as well as the process of how to go about that with wisdom, integrity, and developing interest. It's all about how violence trickles down from adult actions to imprint young minds and to combat that effect on our children, we must train them up. This morning, we close with some thoughts about what happens when a parent effectively trains children with Solomon's wisdom, pointed at getting to know God in Christ Jesus. What does that look like? Well, the proverb writer declares that if the process is followed, which is training, and the purpose is understood, the way he should go, then the product will be that when he is old, he'll not depart from it. What does that mean, to not depart from it? Well, the word itself has many applications, but the key idea that seems to fit the context of what Solomon is writing about is that the child will not leave unfinished business when it comes to the important matters of life. Central among the vital issues of life stands relationship. According to the Bible, a right relationship with God is first, both in chronology and importance. In all other human relationships, marriage, friendship, parenting, or business, the kind of relationship we build will determine the kind of eternity we experience. A child that's trained in the way, the purpose of God for his life, will not leave business unfinished. Does that mean every child will eventually accept God and serve Him well? No, because it stresses the parental responsibility to move in that direction, giving the child every opportunity to respond. For you today, it's not just wise advice from Solomon, but a solemn charge we have as parents given from God in heaven to train them up. And as with every other promise of God, he will honor the one who takes it seriously. I want to close with an excellent target to shoot at for building a home that will set great parameters for serious parenting, shared with me by our friend Maria on Facebook. My home won't be the place where kids gather to go against their parents' rules and wishes. My home won't be the place where I turn a blind eye to underage drinking. My home won't be the place to meet up with someone you shouldn't be around. My home will not be the place that encourages drama. However, my home will be the place to go when life is drowning them, a place of refuge and encouragement. My home will be the place to go when they need wisdom. My home will be the place to go when they need to hear truth and be held accountable. My home will be the place to go to experience the love and goodness of God. My home will be the place to go to find peace and rest for their souls. My home will be the place where they can find forgiveness and grace. My home will be a place where a kid can be a kid. My home will be the place where both fun and holiness exist together. My home will be a place of healing for their hurts. My home will be a place where no one goes hungry. My home will be a place where I will love them as my own. My home will be a place where parents can rest easy knowing their kids are safe, taken care of, and in a healthy environment. That will be my legacy. Eat you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.